Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the first of the spoilers for Curse of the Frozen Casket. So as we know that we're going to see spoilers on Monday for the L0 structure decks, and then Wednesday and Friday we're going to get spoilers for uh, Curse of the Frozen Casket itself. So we're digging in right off the bat with water. So water typically doesn't get to be in the limelight, but it obviously does with this set. So we're gonna start by looking at Charlotte, our ruler. She is a human. So let's talk about a few things first. So one, uh, the card art, the text box up here is now kind of suited to the color of the card and attribute colors we're here as well, as well as its move. So it's not on the bottom, it's up here now as well as ruler. Uh, she has a judgment of two and you're looking at this. This is energized. So this is a new mechanic. Uh, and so what this works like is if you go second, uh, so if you're the second turn player and you have a ruler that has Energize, you get a free will of the Energize ability during that first turn. You have the ability to, or we're not quite sure how it works, so it's either you get to spend it only on that first turn, or you get to save it for later, or something like that. But anyway, your ruler, if you go second, has an Energize ability that will allow you to produce this will one time. Um, so essentially, if you guys have ever played Hearthstone, it's essentially like the coin in Hearthstone. That's a counter that you can use to spend for your uh, will uh, that one time. So, and then she has the ability of pay a blue and discard a card to rest target resonator. So she's also kind of a removal spell. In a sense, she's an answer spell before she even flips. And she does have that really low judgment cost. I really like this energize ability. I think that it entices people to play things other than reflect refrain. Uh, I think it mitigates the effect of going second very easily. Uh, so I'm excited to see what else comes out of the energizes from the other rulers as well. Her flip side is Charlotte, the Mage of Sacred Spirits. So first off, I'm going to say, I know a lot of people don't really like, uh, a lot, there's a lot of people who are on the fence about the artwork or the format change of the carding. I really like it. I like the, you know, the text over here is really easy. It catches your eye really fast. Uh, you have a lot more room for the text box. I also think that this is going to make um, full arts look way better to have the kind of box over here. It's going to be less interruptive. But Charlotte, the Mage of Sacred Spirit. So she's a J Ruler human, 400, 1200, and she cannot be attacked. So that's off the bat pretty interesting. And then when this card enters your field, draw X cards, where X is five minus the number of cards in your hand. So if in using discard effects to do a bunch of other stuff with her, uh, then you can judgment her and then draw back up to a number of cards. So that's pretty awesome, especially when it says whenever you draw a card, you gain 100 life. So you draw five cards, bam, 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 instant 500 life. That's pretty cool. And you're gonna get 100 life every single turn that you draw a card too, because you draw for turn. Uh, and this says, uh, blue, one colorless, discard a card, return target resonator to its owner's hand. So she becomes a repeatable bounce spell as well. Sure, she doesn't necessarily have a lot of attack, but she does have that big defense. And because she can't be attacked, she can block something and then stay safe. So I think that's pretty cool. And we have, moving into the other cards, we have Charlotte's Protector. He is a heroic spirit, two, color, uh, two blue. Uh, and then whenever this card is put into a graveyard from your hand, draw a card. So if you discard him, you get to draw a card. Pretty awesome there. Goes along well with Charlotte. Rabbit of the Aquamoon. One drop, two, four rabbits. You can banish this card to draw a card and then discard a card. So nice little handy blue draw power there. And more bunnies. We all love the bunnies. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Then we have, so this is interesting. I don't really necessarily know why the like outline is charged here in the artwork, but anyway, Charlotte's Water Transformation Magic. So it's a one drop chance. So this is the other big change. So we're not going to have spell chance and spell chance instance moving on now. We're just going to have chance and, um, and then they're gonna have quick cast. So if they're gonna be instant speed, they will be chance with quick cast. I think that's fine. I think that there was a lot of confusion. I know when I was playing um, with my original opponents, you know, when I was trying to teach people the game, people got kind of confused by spell chant instant or spell chant. They didn't quite necessarily remember which one could be cast when. Um, so having the ability to say, nope, quick cast, that just means you can cast it at any time, uh, means that chance with quick cast can be cast at any time, and chance without it can't. So I think that's a pretty easy way to kind of cut down on the confusion there. Um, so I'm okay with that change. Um, but let you guys can let me know what you guys think about it down below. So this has chant, uh, quick cast, and remnant. 
and it says target resonator loses all abilities and becomes a 4-4 bear until the end of the turn. So you just <laughs> take that, turn into a bear. So you just one drop instantly turn something into a 4-4. I think that's really valid, especially when you consider the fact that Charlotte is a 412, so she can block it and then kill it. Um, and this is a really good answer, I think, for Blue, being able to deal with, especially for one, um, that can be cast twice. Just remove all your abilities, become a 4-4, get killed. Like, that's a pretty strong card, I think. And then we have Summon from Memoria, so this is a chance, so it's standard speed, um, can't be cast during your opponent's turn. One drop, look at the top three cards of your deck, put a card from among them into your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So this is essentially scrying three for one blue. Pretty strong card, I think. Then we have Guide to the Ancient Ice Wall. He is a three drop, six ten. Uh, and it says, whenever you play a water chant or addition, target resonator cannot be blocked until the end of the turn. So essentially he lets you be able to swing through with your creatures. Um, easily once you're playing spells and stuff. So now we, now we have a uh, nice little balance of control spells and creatures I think is going to be important for blue. Then we have Melt to Nothing. It is a three cost chance with quick cast. Now it might be also that this little lightning bolt represents chants that have quick cast. Therefore, you know, that's another little reminder for you to, to look at. So it has a three cost and it says J slash resonators you control gain tap return target resonator your opponent controls to its owner's hand until the end of the turn. Okay, so let's talk about this spell real quick. Say I have a bunch of creatures, um, and then my opponent's trying to make a play. I can just play this, all of my creatures become removal spells for a turn. Like, that's actually legitimately really, really good. Uh, I'm pretty hyped about that. I think that there's definitely some answer, you know, some options there for playing control um, that are gonna be pretty good. Then we have, I just close out a card on accidentally. We have Lumia, sealed in the frozen casket. Uh, so she is a three cost, zero ten, human. And she has shift of light, red, and uh, light, fire, water, and two colorless. She cannot attack or block, but you can tap her, rest a recovered light J resonator, a recovered fire J resonator, and a recovered water J resonator you control and shift it. So you could tap, you could actually shift her at instant speed, um, you know, like during your recovery phase. So like have her on board, have the other three things on board, uh, in recovery tap, tap everything, um, shift her, and then she shifts and then you can recover, which is pretty cool. I think that's awesome. She flips into Lumia, Saint of World Awakening. So Lumia's back. Um, she normally would cost eight to play. She is our first tri-color card. She is light, fire, water. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, and when she enters your field or shifts, your life becomes 4,000. Just reset the life. Uh, and then you can put up to one target chant from your graveyard into your hand. So you just get a free spell back from your graveyard into your hand, and she's a 10-10. So I think the fact that she has that kind of like reset button for life is really awesome. I definitely think that's a cool idea, and it goes along with Lumia's theming. Uh, and the ability to recycle a spell is also pretty cool, because it doesn't say any kind of um, like uh, cost requirement or any kind of attribute requirements or anything like that. You just get whatever spell you want. So that's pretty cool. So those are actually all the spoilers, but I do have some other things that I want to talk with you guys today. So first off, we have the, um, this is the product review, right? We have some products. So this is Lightning Strike. This is actually going to be uh, your buy a box promo for Curse of the Frozen Casket. So it's a one cost chance quick cast uh, that has choose one. This card deals 500 damage to target J slash resonator, or this card deals 500 damage to your opponent. So essentially this is, this is Thunder, right? Um, but it's a different name and it's modal. So you have to pick the mode when you first play it. There's no like weird shifting things that you have to do here. Um, Cause it just says target or your opponent or whatever with Thunder. So we got Thunder back. It even looks like a lot like Thunder. It's just been renamed. Um, it's kind of cool to see this come back. Uh, I think that it's fine. The other weird thing is this doesn't target your opponent. So it actually gets around Excalibur X, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, and then we also show the, um, the play mat for the buy three boxes of uh, the Curse of the Frozen Cascade playmat. So this is the five uh, structure deck rulers. I think that's pretty cool to see as well. 
Um, the other thing to note about Lightning Strike is it is a different name. It's not an errata on Thunder or anything else like that. So if you're playing Wanderer format, you now have access to eight Thunders. Just wanted to let you know that. Now we have um, pre-release information and our promo for pre-release this time is Tama, the Familiar of Holy Wind. She is pretty similar to Familiar of Holy Wind. So one green, uh, she's a 2-2, two -two, just like before. When this card enters your field, draw a card, so just like that. But it's not an enter effect, it's the new kind of when this card enters your field effect. And you can banish this card, and this card deals 200 damage to target Resonator. But it's free, so it doesn't have that pay green cost that Familiar used to have, but it's 100 less damage. So, that's pretty cool. I think it's cool that Tom is coming back. I think this is a, kind of a little bit more balanced version of itself. Only being able to ping for 200 damage, I think, mitigates some of the control power there. And then the uh, pre-release playmat is the five rulers of Curse of the Frozen Casket and not the five uh, structure deck rulers. So pretty cool. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff. Uh, what you think about the card layouts, the different ideas, what you think of Energize, the new changes to Spell Chance and Chance with Quick Cast and stuff like that. There's a lot of new stuff coming out in Curse of the Frozen Casket. I, for one, am pretty excited about it. I think that, you know, the company is making some decisions. Um, that, that I, I'm in support of, so I, I can't wait to see what else they bring us. So, But until then, guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe as always. And then until next time, this is DM073, signing off.